navigate to Joe's Racing Products. No state heard. Searching your current state, Washington. Searching for address in United States. If you want to search in another country, say enter a country. Now do you want to start route guidance? Yes. Starting route guidance. Already then. All right, guys, welcome back. This is Platform Racing. It has been three months that we've been out, but we are finally, finally back in action. Uh, we are headed up north to go see a buddy of the channel. Uh, his name's Greg. And Greg is the general manager of Joe's Racing Products. So he's gonna show us around the shop today. Um, so we're gonna take about an hour and a half drive up north uh, and go check out what he's got going on. Right. Well, I suppose I'll take the time to update you guys on what's been going on. Um, we've got the race car, uh, the BRZ. That one is currently in the shop over at Godspeed Fab. Um, and he's got that one. He's had it for about three weeks now. Um, he's doing a full SFI certified roll cage in it. That thing is going to be absolutely insane when it's done. Um, he's putting in the seat. He's putting in the window nets. He's putting in the harnesses. Like uh, Rob is really taking care of us over there. So. Um, that should be done hopefully in about a week or two. Uh, then we've got to come back. Uh, we ordered a ton of gear. We've got a helmet coming, race suit, shoes. Uh, boy, everything we we're ever possibly going to need. Um, so that is on the way. Let's see. Um, we are looking into the paint scheme still. We're trying to get that figured out. Who's going to paint the car for us? Um, we are also looking into the big wing, which uh, we're going to need here soon. We're doing construction, so i got to work around these guys. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot going on. As you guys notice, maybe, uh, we are on a new truck as well. So we had to go buy a truck because I got to be able to tow that race car to the track because I can't drive it on the street. So, um, we got the truck. We are going to get a trailer. Hopefully within the next couple months here, we're going to get an enclosed trailer, um, be able to take that thing wherever we need to go. And then, uh, just kind of keep on trucking, so to speak. But, uh, it's been a pretty exciting last few months. So it's just gonna be me moving forward on the channel. Um, I've got a lot of things I wanna do. I've got a lot of projects that I'm working on personally. Um, we've got big things coming up for next year. We're gonna start doing some car meets next year where we are. Um, we're gonna start meeting with other people. Um, I've got a lot of contacts that after this winter, we're gonna be going out and meeting that have some really nice custom cars. Uh, so basically we're gonna get more into the overall car realm instead of focusing on just one thing. Um, you know, our whole base now is gonna be platform racing, which is gonna be all different platforms. Um, so we're gonna be meeting with drift guys, we're gonna be meeting with road guys, we're gonna be meeting with drag guys, um, circle track guys, dirt track guys. We have a lot of stuff that we're gonna be doing. So, so stick with us, uh, but for right now, uh, we're about an hour out from Joe's Racing. So when I get up there, I will, uh, I'll bring you guys back in. We'll go talk to Greg and we'll, uh, we'll see what's up. We are here at Joe's Racing Products. Uh, so we're gonna head inside. We're gonna go talk with Greg, see what's going on. Uh, I'm not sure what filming is gonna be like inside. So we'll have to check in with that, but let's, uh, let's go check in with Greg. This is uh, Steven. How's it going? Steven, I'm Joe. Joe of Joe's. Derek. Uh, in there. So these are all, all this stuff is made here. Yep. Dang. So this is the the housing for, that houses two bearings. Okay. And the inner pivot on an A-arm. Gotcha, gotcha. So this is going to take, it'll take two of them. All right. 
for for one a arm that'll have a shaft in between the two it'll four bearings and like this is what's on my car gotcha okay right and they're gonna pivot on the the inner pivot like gotcha, that gotcha. so low friction Dang. no bushings now, no deflection is this machine where's the is this already painted or like how does that yeah get so we we now extrude this okay and this comes in like bar stock gotcha and then we cut it it just gets milled from the that. bores gotcha oh there i see go. pre dang look at that so there's the start and there's the final right oh, right so this is two rows of 10 slots that will hold what's called the tombstone or the the tooling fixture that we're going to machine off of so the cool thing is there's one machine here right now we have another one being delivered in january we'll look at the other side but basically imagine all 20 pallet positions with material okay and stuff ready to machine and then you program into the computer i want 100 of these 200 of these 500 of this a thousand of that and along with all the due dates oh yeah and the computer will do the algorithm for how to finish them all on time oh my gosh that's crazy and then so that trolley will come down let's say pick a pallet off the bottom down here spin, okay. spin it around put it in the machine and machine it when it's done machining all four sides it'll come out run it down to a man door unload it come down grab another pallet and load that so this machine starts up again before the man ever unloads the other one so it's constantly playing the shell game wow that's crazy of, of, and efficiency wise right so so in theory this is a 24 hour a day lights out machine wow you can go home and it'll keep going nice. so now so it's gonna, that machine's gonna come and grab it, pull it, take it over there, and start working yep. on it. So see, it's gonna grab it on those lips right there. It's gonna engage those pins. I can make everything work You guys are way too high tech, man. Like way too high tech. This is, this is different than a four and a half inch grinder and a MIG welder. Well, that's what that's what uh, that's what we were at. So yeah, watching you guys do this is incredible. Closed door and now it's gonna travel. Wow, that's nice. So does this light up as well? Oh, down. is already staged behind there right now and it goes through a check station through a laser that says okay it has to be you know let's say 4.262 inches long okay and it'll measure it and say yeah it's still valid it's the right tool right and then when it switches that one back it'll go back through that laser test and verify it before it puts it away so you literally cannot make a bad part because the machine will stop and it'll say, boom, it'll take that tool out, it'll put it in quarantine, it'll grab a spare tool that's set up the same way, keep the machine running, and then alarm to you and say, hey, you have something in quarantine. It went into quarantine because it was, the end is missing, or it's at 85% of its life cycle, and you told me you don't want to run it anymore. Oh, we can check sharpness and all that? Wow, dude. So this is what it just finished over here. Yeah. And now these are all done. Ready? Yeah. Wow. So now he's done the he's done the face, he's done the bore. Crazy. 
what he's saying is they're making these tombstones themselves with these giant pieces. They mill out all these numbers on here, all the letters, all the spaces. It basically works like a giant grid. So when it goes through this machine, when it comes out over there, it's able to mill that out in one solid piece. And the cool thing about this machine is it's got live tooling that works on both sides of the part. Okay. It's a turning center. Okay. And we'll work on the what we call the A side, the front side coming out of the machine initially. Gotcha. Once they finish the A side, the B side will have a call that'll come over and grab it at let's say 10,000 RPM. Yeah, all right. Once they're both in unison at 10,000 RPM, we'll part it off. And now you'll have the B side or the back side exposed. And now it'll run down through tooling to completely finish the part, eject the part out onto a conveyor belt like a little mini treadmill and spit a finished part out oh of the machine God. so the cool part about this is you don't have to do 250 a sides hand unload them stack them gotcha. and then finish all your a's and then turn around and reload a part to do 250 b's you get rid of an unload and a reload and it spits out a complete finished part wow that's insane. i'll show you some of the parts that you all right cool do. let's check it out this is for a quick change rear end these are Quick change rear end, super lightweight cow. bolt covers. So, you know, for us, we take grams out of a car to get to ounces. Yep. And ounces add up to pounds and it all Crazy. adds up to speed, right? And this is a this is a fun one for people. This is a valve core tool for your tires. Um, all made out of stainless. So it fits in your pocket. A lot of the valve core tools are shaped with a T. Yeah. So when it's in your pocket, it'll poke you. Um, this thing's all radius, radius, knurled, everything. And uh, takes the valve core out of your tires. Yeah, you just pop them right out, put a new one yeah. in. Dang. So for us, like on the, on the NASCAR side of things or the dirt car side of things, you're constantly changing tires and- So did you, guys, did you guys design this or? Yeah. We do all our design work in SolidWorks. We do everything in house. Wow. Design, manufacture, finish, crazy. Package, assemble. Like I just yeah. switched over. This part that I'm making is like three different parts, but the back side is different. It's got a different tapped hole on this side. Gotcha. So I just had to change out the drills and stuff. So once I transfer it, I have to touch these tools off and teach it the front of the part over here. And gotcha. then, it's, then it's go, 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 go. Dang. So right now it'll do the transfer and stop. So this is gonna be the handoff here. So that's where it's coming in and grabbing it. Gotcha. And the part off will come down. They're all synced up, spinning at exactly the same speed right now. Go up. And all so now there. it's got the part over there. Gotcha. Crazy. So now it's stopped and he's got to teach it where the front of the part is. Keep doing it all day as long as the material's in the machine. <laughs> that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> drill this hole. Once we get it, this hole drilled, it'll lift up a little and you can see oh, kind of what's go. going on here. So it's drilling a hole all the way through it. So now the spindle completely stopped and it's going to turn this live tool on, the one okay. that's right in front of us right here. It's gonna turn this end mill on right here, okay. and it's gonna make the hex on the part. Gotcha, okay. So we can actually even open the door a little bit once I get this going, and you can see this one fire off. Yeah, so dropping the hex on the part right there. So it just did this, right? Yeah. And so now, wow, that's insane gonna turn it and then drill and tap. Now it's cleaning up and it's gonna drill and tap all those holes. Wow. Get ready to do its transfer again right here. Fill it out and then do it all over, over and over all day. Over and over. <laughs> so these parts are all ready to be shipped. Okay. To the dealers around the world or web sales. Jeez. Retail sales. Crazy. This side is all components. So the raw part that you just saw made will live over here. Okay. Until it comes out to assembly so the part you saw was a a brake bias part yeah so these guys will get a, a work order 
that says, hey, we need 50 of those kits built. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Then they'll pull those individual components. Okay. So right now they're working on shock vices. Okay. Um, so Steve's building Jeez. our double shock vice setup. Um, so this is so that you can it's disassemble a... apart. You can have a you can have the shock body here. Yep. Loosen up the shaft, clamp the shaft in here. Now you've got the shim stack and piston assembly that you're gonna change parts out on. Dang. So. Well, to say this is uh, an auto parts candy store is, I think, kind of an understatement. Yeah. <laughs> you guys yeah. have all the stuff. Definitely the resource for your for your high end performance parts. The next gen, same idea, up and around, just like this. This one's an adult size, right? With two tethers that attach to the helmet gotcha and then straps that come down here gotcha. you can see that this doesn't come down as far yeah so if you're one of those people who doesn't want some additional in here pressing you in this is a little better option the gotcha. base model of the next gen is slightly lighter than the hans okay. is but really between the two it's just preference gotcha. i like the feel of this that doesn't come down as far i like the feel of this that comes down further yeah. all right guys we are headed back home uh what a freaking adventure i cannot believe that joe's racing product i mean I, I had no idea i mean i've kind of been working with the guys for a little bit um i bought some of their products you know we've got it on some of the cars but man like talk about what an amazing crew over there um those guys <laughs> tell you my mind is blown they are making their own products i mean you guys saw the tombstones the way they're using these uh the way they're using these cnc machines to make some incredible high quality products um i am just i'm blown away and the fact that we have somebody local like that made in the usa parts uh is just absolutely incredible thing to me so um, i hope you guys enjoyed the tour um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video we got a lot more stuff coming up like i said my race car should be done hopefully in the next week um, and then once we get that one back, we're going to start doing some cool stuff with that. We've got to get the thing off to paint. Uh, but I think you guys are really going to love that one. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look that Joe's racing today. Look at some of their products. Um, they are on the website. They ship worldwide. Go to their website. Check out what they're doing. They are building things for all platforms. We're talking sprint cars, dirt track cars, road racing cars, drag cars. doesn't matter what it is. If you've got it and you're building it, they've got a product for you. All made in-house. So if you need parts for your race car, you know where to go, joesracing.com. I'm gonna link it right here. Go check them out. Um, thanks again for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time.